Well, here we go, here we go. So we just came up right behind our bait. Well, I'll tell you what, Sam. You can't ask for a better day out here today. Than no, this. sir. That nice. It's, it's gorgeous right now. It might pick, the wind might pick up later. It usually does in the afternoon. Get that afternoon sea breeze. Yeah. Oh, fish on. Got a boy. Got him, Blair. Got him, brother. <laughs> you the man. No telling what it is. What is it? You got who were the big ones, Leo. That's like a uh, shizark. A shark? Sure felt like one right there. It's big, whatever it is. That a boy. You got it like that. And I gotta love that. If he's big enough, all we want is something big enough for dinner for two. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that'd be dinner for four now, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, Mogan. A uh, Mogan. Oh, it looks good. It looks like there. a black fin tuna. <laughs> that, that's not a bad deal. It is a black fin tuna. That a boy, Blair. A big one, too, isn't it? That is a good black fin. How in the world do you catch a black fin tuna in here? <laughs> oh, you just put your hook out there with a good bait on it. <laughs> Listen to Sam Heaton tell a joke. <laughs> or three. <laughs> is this something you catch here a lot, Sam? Well, we do this... out in deeper water. You know, this is pretty shallow for a black fin. 60 feet, ain't it? 60 feet, but... You know, they're usually out closer to 250, 260. Get him, Sam! Get him, Sam! <laughs> cool beans, a black fin tuna. Get this old hook out of here. Man, them hooks are killer. Look at that. <clears throat> Look at that, what you done, Blair. Look what black you did. Black fin tuna. That's a huge one, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Get, get him in the bottom of the boat. He got a whip his boat. He's got a whip his boat. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to calm this guy down, put him in the box, and chill him off and get him ready for some sushi tonight. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back. <laughs> Sam Heaton, addicted to fishing, and who knows what else from Sam's secret spot right over Stewart. <laughs> Good job. What you got there, Sam? Good job, Blair. You spotted that big boy. Has he got it one with him? Give me a hook of tide on here. We got Sam Heaton with us from Johnson Outdoors, who makes those lovely products I use on the show each and every week. The Minn Kota on the front, the Hummingbird Fish Finder. And we got the new 12 foot talent. A little deep for the 12 foot talent here, but we used it inshore a little bit earlier. And hopefully, we're going to show you a fish here. Here's the electric anchor. We should be right, the waypoint should be right behind the wreck, should be right behind the boat, Black. You ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm in the water. In the water, how about that? Hey, Kobe, you're right oh. here, right here, right behind us. Come here, I'm trying to get up here to the front, Blair. Excuse me. Where'd he go? He's right there. Oh, you got him? Yeah. There he is. Sam's on him, Sam's on him. He's on it. He's on it? Wow. He's on it. He's on it. There he is. Good job. What you got there, Sam? Good job, Blair. You spotted that big boy. Has he got it one with him? We got it. Well, he did. That's a pretty good one there, isn't it, Blair? You know what we got. We, I got this thing on electric anchor on spot lock. We're out here in 60 feet of water. We don't have an anchor line or anything. We just pulled out here and I hit spot lock. We're right over a big wreck. This is so cool. Of course, Blair spotted him with them hawk eyes he's got. <laughs> well, I'll let you catch him, Sam. Yeah. I'll let you do now, the work. Blair, there is a gaffed right there. I'll just fight that fish. We'll get the gaff in a minute. Uh, yeah. You ain't ready yet. We're going <laughs> to eat him, aren't we? Well, you said you wanted one. I'm from one, Alabama, man. you know. <laughs> you said you wanted one to take home. I do. My wife will be in such a good mood. That's one thing about Kobe. When you pull up on a wreck, if they're there, they're going to come up and they're take a look at you. They're going to come up and take a look at you. So you're going to feed me? Yeah. Look at that rod. 
I'm impressed with that. Yeah, I think that's a 7.9 too. Yeah, this ain't no big rod. This is a, something like you'd fish for snook with. What kind of line is that? It's Finn's XS, and I believe it's 15 pound test on there. You know, when I was a boy in the Gulf of Mexico, we used to call these Chinese catfish. <laughs> now, don't ask me why we did. I'm trying to keep the fish on the back part of the rod, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of high sticking him. Yeah, normally, I, uh, I think we're gonna have to do him over here, Blair. I have a net in here, but I know he's well over the legal limit. Oh yeah, he's well over 33 inches. Don't do no good winding when the spool's spinning, does it? No, I've tried to convince my clients for that <laughs> years and years and years of telling them. When you hear that sound, you shouldn't be reeling. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Fishy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You don't think they're strong fish? Nothing but muscle. All he is is muscle. Muscle and bone. Am I breathing hard, Blair? A little bit. Can you hear me breathing? You know why I'm breathing hard? Why is that? Because I'm tarred. <laughs> <laughs> Been doing it a long time, I ain't never forgot how much I love it. I always say if I ever quit shaking or ever That's right. start complaining about being sore from a fish, it's time to quit. Come on, baby. Did you make Maybe this one? You said you made you that one. You are a hero! <laughs> he went from a zero. Watch him now, boys. He's bad to the bone. He got, he got a hacksaw on his back. I'm glad you was bragging about being so young. Woo! Well, I don't have to do that. Now well, there we go. That's a Morgan. That's a Morgan <laughs> there, brother. A Morgan. <laughs> well, we've been on the spot, the first spot right here. What were we on here? Not more than five minutes after you put yeah. the spot lock down on the Minn Kota. Yeah. And uh, here's what we got. We got a Cobia. Yeah. And this a one's nice gonna, too. And this one's going to be invited home. Uh huh. We're going to invite him for dinner. <laughs> well, y'all stay tuned. <laughs> we're going to be right back here from Stuart, Sam Heaton from Minn Kota, Talon, and Humminbird. And uh, we're catching some fish. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh, it's a sailfish. 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 sailfish baby. Way to go, Blair. I got a sailfish too. A double sail. Look double at that. Double sailfish hookup. <laughs> Where else can you take an 80-year-old man, an 8-year-old boy, and a 35-year-old mother and bring them out here and they all three have the same expectations? It's the greatest sport in the world. Well, welcome back, folks. We finally got resituated after that cobia, sitting right off of Stewart here, and I can't believe how close we are to the beach in this deep water and on these wrecks. We're about 60 feet. About 60. Yeah. yeah, it'd take a little bit more than that to get offshore around Canaveral, but you know, this is so close. I mean, you can watch the storms come up, be sure. in a small boat, and come out and do this sure. anytime. Huh? That's what makes it so nice. It's accessible to a guy that's got a 20, 22, 24 foot boat. I mean, you know, you don't have to. And you know, we act like it's a big secret, but all these wrecks are on the FWC website. Yeah. <laughs> Every one of them. <laughs> look, 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 look. Oh, look at here. You got one more time. You got something chewing on it. Yeah. I bet it's one of them remorse. You got something chewing on this one here. He's chewing on it really good now. This one here is getting chewed on real good too. <laughs> Ooh, chee wow. Whatever it is. Oh, it's a sailfish. Sailfish. Sailfish, sailfish baby. Way to go, Blair. I got a sailfish, too. A double sail. Look double at that. Double sailfish hookup. <laughs> God, break yours off. <laughs> oh, 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 he's going to jump. Oh, oh, I got a, I got a cross with you. Wow, look at him. Is that a pretty Mine's side or what? Walking. Cut the machine off. <laughs> Whoa! I gotta cut the trolling motor off. Follow him. There's another okay. there is. How close are you, Blair? My, oh, you're this, close. This one's close, but mine's going a long way oh, away. Oh, mine just got off. That's okay. You can help me land mine. <laughs> <laughs> you're fixing to run out of line. You better do something, Blair. You better do something, Blair. Blair. I'm gonna okay. swing you around where you can get on the okay. bow. Okay. Okay, mine's a baby compared to yours. Oh, he's jumping out there. You see why these butt seats are so important to old people? 
<laughs> That's all right, Sam. You can you can fight the fish today. I'll stay here under the shade. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Come on, black boy. Keep reeling, Sam. I'm reeling, buddy. <laughs> I can't feel my arms no more. <laughs> okay, you can slow down. <laughs> Woo wee! Man, that was a huge fish you had, Blair. That was a good sale. This is a baby, but this is this is my kind of fish right here. It'd be like uh, the Sam Heaton show today. Oh man, it's nothing like it. <laughs> Double sail hookup. Can you believe it? That's pretty cool, ain't it? In June. In June. Hey, there's one with him, Blair. Well, I'll just have to read My fish is out here to the right. That fish right there is sailing. See him? Can you yeah, see him, Blair? Yeah, let me get another Isn't hook that on. Cool? What? You ready, Blair? Almost. I gotta get his head back up one time. Now this is a crucial part right here. I'm saying, look at that. Oh my gosh. Beautiful fish oh right there, gosh. brother. Oh, isn't that pretty, Blair? Look at that, Blair. Look at you, Blair! Blair Wiggins, you got a sailfish by the nose! Yes, I do, <laughs> brother. <laughs> you got a sailfish by the nose! Yep. Isn't that something? I'm gonna get the hook, too. You got, gonna get the hook? I might. It's right there. Yep, got the hook. Oh, you are a hero, Blair. Good job, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh sailfish my. right there, beautiful sail. Beautiful Atlantic sailfish. Oh my gosh, it don't get no prettier than and that. And you want to make sure you got gloves on when you grab this bill because that will flat tear yeah. your hands You want up. me to put it in gear and let you revive yeah. him a little? Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. You want to touch your sailfish? Huh? I say, you want to touch your sailfish? Cut it? No, you want to touch it. Oh, yeah, I'll touch him. I might not get to catch another one. Hey, baby, I love you. <laughs> I'm old, you know. I'm 64. Oh, hey, wear me out. Ready to look at that beautiful fish. Isn't that pretty, Blair? That is absolutely beautiful. Woo -wee. Yeah, that, that one I had on was big. He was definitely big, but this is not a bad Atlantic sailfish. Oh, it's not a bad Atlantic sailfish. What a pretty fish. Isn't that pretty? We are blessed. I like the polka dots on their sails. I do sail. too. That's my favorite part, the polka dots right in there. Mm. What a beautiful fish. I love them. That is so cool. That's the first time I've ever been on a boat with a double sailfish. Is it? Yeah. Wow. You know, right, you and goes. I ought to go to Hard Rock tonight. You can just stand by me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I think don't he's ready. I'm going to let him kick on. Yeah, let him kick out of here. Get on out of here, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very You're much. You're the best. Prince of the Ocean. That was awesome. Good sailfish from the, yeah. from the sailfish capital of the world, huh? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just excited. <laughs> I don't even know where I am. <laughs> well, we'll let you catch a fish all day long today. Hey, y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing and who knows what else with Sam Heaton from Johnson Outdoors. How long do you let him run? About that long? About that long. There he is. You got him, Blair. <laughs> Woo! Job. Look at him. He's a sailfish. Good job. Good job. On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm going to show you what Sam and I were out there throwing today. When we first pulled up to the spot, didn't really expect sailfish, so I had Sam rigged up with a 7.9 Flats Blue, and this is the inshore model. Had him rigged with a 4,000 size Sabalos. Had 15 pound excess rigged on the rod, and it definitely got the job done for him out there today. As Soon as we found out there was some sailfish out there, I went to the offshore model. This is the 7.6. Had it rigged with a 6,000 size Sabalos reel, 30 pound test fins excess, and also had 60 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon on there. And if you notice, there's three different types of fluorocarbon out there that Seaguar makes. They make a blue label, a red label, and they also make the Premier, which is a green label. I was using the Premier out there. We weren't expecting any snags, a sailfish, or anything like that. We were hoping Cobia were showing up. And uh, the hook we were using, this is the Trocar. It's the 4 aught, and it's also called the Big Nasty. Y'all definitely get you some of these because whatever touches these barbs gets hooked. Remember one thing, though? Every fishing season starts right here at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel.
But this chart plotter is, is an essential piece of equipment. You cannot do with that. Something to chew on that one. I'll tell you, something to chew on that one, dude. You got it, Sam. How long do you let him run? About that long? About that long. There he is. You got him, Blair. <laughs> Good Woo! job. Look at him, he's selfish. Good job. Good job. Let's chase him. I'm gonna have to get up front on this one. He's screaming. Jumping, jumping. Good jumps. Oh yeah. There you go, buddy. Woo, Chihuahua, while we're coming to the boat. As long as you don't come in the boat. Woo, Chihuahua. He ain't wowing, Blair. Pretty when they jump, ain't they? Aren't they something? They are something. I never did really get into catching sailfish. They're too just much. wonderful. But I do. the more I catch, the more I like them. Oh man. <laughs> That's good sized sailfish too. That's a big one, boy. I'm impressed with those rods. I know that. Look how pretty, pretty. Now Blair, I'm gonna try and do this by the textbook. And there's a certain way you want to line the uh, leader of these fish. I don't Look think you ready. Fish. You want to do thumbs pointed to each other. That way you can fight him off of you if he tries to spear you in the face. Easy, man. Easy with him. He's a full grown one. That is a good size Atlantic sail in it. Yes, sir. Should be able to pull him back by that now. I got him, man. He's Thumbs. a cold one now, ain't he, brother? Yes, sir. Thumbs together. Thumbs together. Thumbs together. Just let him relax a little bit. He'll be okay. Just let him, let him, let him be mad. You want to try to pull him up just a little bit? Yeah. Right. Here he is, boys. A nice that selfish. Ain't that pretty? Beautiful. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> All Beautiful. Right, put her in gear and get some water over her lungs. Yes, sir. Yeah. Try to hold them up straight like that and 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 get, get them swimming. They're not starving for oxygen because we haven't taken them out of the water. We just want to get that lactic acid burn up, you know, where he can move. Yeah, they'll stiffen up. I've had redfish do that yeah. before. Yeah. Woo! Caught it on a trout rod. Yeah, he's he, yeah, you sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah, he's he's coming around. Or she getting the color back. He's getting his color back. Feeling good. Man, what a I'm gonna try him, okay? Alright. I'm gonna turn him loose. See you later, buddy. Thank you for a good fight. There he goes. Down to the deep. Very deep. That Thank was sure. incredible on the trout rod. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's always fun getting to fish with you, Blast. Dude, it is a blast. Yeah, yeah. Always a blast fishing with you, Sam. Yeah, well. Uh, if y'all ever want to come down here and do this, who would you recommend them coming down? Uh, Greg Snyder's good. Ed Zayak's good. Uh, Young Pat Price, Daymaker's good. All those boys are real good captains. Well, cool beans. Get down here in the summertime, you can do exactly what you just saw us doing here today. One thing though, don't forget about the website, addictedfishing.com. Everybody's got their favorite picture of their big fish on their phone. Mm -hmm. We call it Show Us Your Mogan. Send yeah. it into the website there on Google Plus. Just punch up Addicted Fishing, you'll find us. But uh, that about wraps it up for this show. And uh, that was an awesome day, brother. I love I you, brother. <laughs> See y'all next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictiveFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Get him in the bottom. Stand up, sit down, sit down, sit down. Stand up. I ain't had this many orders since I worked at Burger King. It's a piece of, uh... No, it's a fish. Oh, oh. oh.